urn and cover my feet. I've had hundreds of hours to think about this moment, and I let it all roll over me. The wind, the water, the past and present, the world I left behind, the people and towns along the way. It's hard to believe I'm finally here. After a few minutes, I go back and sit cross-legged in the sand next to my pack and do what I always do at the pivotal moments of my life. I take out a pen, open my diary, and begin to write. My writing habit began long ago, long before this diary, long before my walk. The Christmas I was eight years old, my mother gave me my first diary. It was a small yellow vinyl book to boss with deep flourishes. My favorite feature was its brass key and lock. It made me feel important to have something in my life of such consequence that I needed to lock it up from the world. That Christmas night was the first time in my life that I wrote in a diary. I figured with the lock and all, only I would be reading it, so I wrote the entry to myself, a habit I would continue the rest of my life. Dear Alan, Today is Christmas. I got a Rock'em Sock'em Robots a set of walkie-talkies, and red Swedish fish that I already ate. Mom gave me this diary with a lock and key and told me I should write every day. I asked her to write on my first page. My dear son, thank you for letting me write in your special book, and Merry Christmas. It is a very special Christmas. You will someday understand this. Every so often read these words and remember how much I love you and always will. Mom. Mom says it doesn't matter what I write, and if I wait to write just the important things, then I'll probably never write anything, because important things just look like everything else except when you look back on them. The thing is to write what you're thinking and feeling. Mom looked better today. I think she'll be better soon. I've touched that writing.